Once upon a time, a thief and a villain were on a heist to steal the crown of dreams. The crown of dreams was a token of love given by the first empress to her consort as a way to reach each other even in dreamland. Given its history, the crown wasn't an item to be stolen casually. Its location? Heavily protected in the Royal Museum of History and Jewels. But the world-renowned thief wasn't worried at all. This thief was a raccoon who had joined the bear dog villains guild after he recruited her by giving up his most expensive ring. It was a deal she couldn't refuse. After she joined, they grew closer and went on more and more missions with one another. Feeling bold, the raccoon concocted a plan to steal the crown while the unaware corrupt nobles were having a ball to celebrate the second prince's birthday. With the bear dog and another rabbit guild member, they could do it. It was a great opportunity for them to score big. However, what the other two didn't know was that this was a part of her revenge scheme. So, there they were, deftly jumping and running like the wind on the rooftops of the palace, which was conveniently adjacent to the famed museum. Luckily, they were stealthy and didn't catch the attention of any alarms and recording devices along the way. A cool night, in the distance they heard the muffled sound of an orchestra playing at the ball. In addition, the aroma of rich and unattainable foods traveled in the air, making their mouths water, which also made the raccoon's nose twitch. When they reached the ceiling window near the vents that led to the crown, they looked around themselves. With nothing amiss, the bear dog opened the window and the rabbit rolled up his sleeves. He held a rope in his hand, which he planned to use through the vents. An agile and clever guild member, he could climb through any small space if he put his mind to it. Leaving through the window, the raccoon and the bear dog were left to stay on guard, but the raccoon's eyes kept wandering. From where they sat, she could see a glimpse of happy dancing nobles in the ballroom through several balcony windows. The warm light looked inviting, but it was only a place the elite could attend. The raccoon couldn't take her eyes off the nobles having fun below at the ball, while most citizens in the kingdom suffered. A bitter laugh left her throat. When I was a princess, they told me I was never good enough, so I gave up on that. Did you know that nobles are full of empty promises? They love appearing nice while stepping on everyone around them. Jaws clenched, her fists shook with anger, and her mind was a tornado of unpleasant memories. Revenge was in her sights, with the crown of dreams in the process of being stolen. The bear dog listened with concern. Even though he was a villain, seeing her upset didn't make him happy at all. He had grown fond of her irritable temper, but this was something else. He replied in a calm and even tone. You shouldn't think about them, you know. They don't affect your life anymore. The raccoon sighed in agreement. True, I haven't spoken to them in almost ten years, since I left the palace after my debut in royal court. I guess a part of me is still hurt by their actions. The bear dog replied gently. I understand. You have every right to be upset, but I promise you, there will come a day where you will be content and happy. Time and new experiences will help. I believe in you. The raccoon looked at him, sort of not believing it, and then looked up at the stars, twinkling in the sky. You always seem to know what to say, she said. He paused for a moment with her to look up at the sky, and then his expression turned playful as he smiled big. He spoke, and her attention turned back to Earth. And hey, what about me? Since you've joined our guild, I've always kept our promises. You are enough as you are. These words made the raccoon smile. At this moment, the rabbit really regretted coming back with the crown when he did. He wasn't a fan of happy situations, and he had noticed before that there was something brewing between these two. However, he swore that he would never get involved, but there he was, on a mission with these two lovesick fools. The rabbit frowned as the raccoon and bear dog couldn't stop looking into each other's eyes, Love, he thought. How disgusting. As the disgruntled rabbit handed off the crown to the raccoon, he nudged the bear dog's arm. Boss, snap out of it, you idiot. The bear dog smirked. Oh, little hare, you have no idea. And a special thanks to Anna Gaylord, a rage, 
Derek Moore, Egg Lay, Jessica, Julia, Laura Moon, Lynn, Megan Stinson, Paige Sullivan, and S. Marie Carlson. <laughs>